Okay, here's the scenario. I had created some artwork, and when I colored that artwork, I just simply used the color picker because I really didn't know better. And uh, when I finished my project and sent it to the printer, they called me back and they said, well, we need the PMS colors in order to be able to print this project. And so I had to figure out first what in the world PMS colors were, and then how do I take the colors that I'd already created in my designs and come up with an equivalent PMS color. And so Illustrator's got a really helpful tool to do this, and I'm going to show you um, how one way to do this right here. And you'll see I've got two swatches right here that I created. These were my colors, and they're just custom colors that I picked using um, the C, the color picker and the CMYK numbers. I've got that uh, light tan and this little bit darker tan. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, a couple of uh, bigger swatches. Uh, two inches by two inches looks good. And fill that up with the light color. And now I want to grab my, uh, well, I'll leave that as it is, and create another one. Move it up here. And I'll fill this one up with a little bit darker khaki color. So I've got two swatches, basically what I created. And now I want to try to find a, a PMS equivalent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy these. And I'm going to drag them right down here. And I'm going to highlight this one. Now here's the trick. Um, if you need to recolor artwork, Illustrator makes this easy with this edit colors function. So I'm going to go over here and choose recolor artwork. Now maybe I created my graphics in Photoshop so I can just go over and grab the CMYK numbers and create a swatch in Illustrator or I can um, use RGB or whatever and just bring out bring that color over here. But I'll open up this recolor artwork dialog box and down here there's uh, an op a way to choose a particular swatch library and this is where I'm going to go out and grab uh, from the color book section the Pantone color book that I want to use and in this case I'm going to use the Pantone solid coated and from what I hear um, in talking with some graphic designers is this pr pretty good one to start with um, especially if you don't know which kind of medium that the printer is going to be printing on so I'm going to select that and I'm going to click OK and now you can see up here that Illustrator has recolored or, or changed the color to the Pantone 461 color. So if I click on my original, that is uh, CMYK number, and that's my Pantone. And Illustrator gets you about as close as you can get. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I've got this little darker tan, and I'll go down here to Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork, and basically just do the same thing. Click the swatches, choose my Pantone solid coated color book or whichever one you want. Hit OK and you can see the colors change. Now what I'm going to do is just drag these kind of up here on top and if I make this big we can see that on that one and the lighter one the color is pretty close. Maybe you'll be able to see just a little bit of a difference on this darker one color is uh, still pretty close, a little bit of a difference, but from what uh, I found, you're not going to find an exact match with a CMYK and a Pantone color, but this method will get you pretty close and then you can tweak. Now just um, in case you were interested, if you wanted to get a uh, swatch library in Illustrator, um, you can go out here to add a open a swatch library and pick the whole swatch library for the particular color uh, palette that you're interested in and you can hunt and peck through and try to get it a little bit closer but that takes a lot of time and this recolor artwork function uh, will at least get you in the ballpark pretty quick.